how to be truly happy. The first thing I think you should learn if you want to find happiness, if you want to find happiness, if you want to be not feel empty inside, is to stop yearning for more desires, more yearning for more riches. The first thing you must learn if you want to be happy is to be happy with your situation on the moment, not intentional yearning for more fame, not yearning to get more payment. Be not self entitled. Be happy with what you have. Because I'm 100% sure, no, there will be somebody who will pay, um, will, will do anything to have what you have. For example, some children in Africa, people who don't have internet, people who die from starvation because their food is given to livestock, which is then fitted to the West and their kings and queens. Oh yeah, around 82% of all the animals raised for food live in countries where children die from starvation because their food is fed to livestock. And with that, is again feed it back to the west. Is a man not an amazing animal? He kills billions of billions of animals and, and dozens and thousands of members of their own species. And in the meantime, he plays lip service to some acts of terror that are not responsible for. Wow, wow. Wow, this man, an amazing beast. <laughs> he kills wildlife, be wildlife animals to protect his domestic animals and their feet. And then he kills his domestic animals by the billions. And then kills more, even more animals and people to find cures for the diseases that get from eating the animals. All along, when they're all claimed they're no right from wrong, that are good people. But the reality, they're sarcasms. They're playing lip service. That's what you do when your words are not in line with your actions. The only reason we have starvation is because people want to live like kings and queens in the West. Eat animal corpses. Which is where once in the Middle Ages time, the king, queen and upper class uh, rich guys food. The normal citizen cannot avoid that without subsidies and without exploitation of what matrix people are you all totally ridiculous <laughs> you can feed around six people on a plant-based diet on one acre of land but you need three acres of land to feed somebody on an american carnist style diet You don't have to be Einstein to figure out this conclusion. You only have to think a bit. Use a little bit logic made. Animals need to eat. They are not vegetarians. They don't live on air and water and sunlight. They need to eat. Just like me, just like you. 
there are no plants that don't do um, photosynthesis. There are, uh, animals have a working central nervous system connected to a brain, therefore are aware. Animals are sensation aware. Plants are not. They have no central nervous system or brain and cannot feel pain. They are unconscious. And if you if you want to say hypothetical that uh, in some way I believe the plants can suffer. Now you kill even far more plants, so have I said before, when you eat animals. Because those animals eat plants. Are you serious people like um, Morse? From Good Morning Britain? Are you serious? When you say, oh, vegans eat, uh, kill animals because they eat bread, then you are sounding like a rapist lawyer or somebody is a house rapist. I say, there is um, uh, the, the woman asks for it because she wears too little clothes. She, she, if she not wants to be raped, then she must uh, wear um, less revealing clothing. Or when racists say, uh, oh, there is violence on violence uh, on black people to black people. So um, I can do be racists. Not people. The job of vegans is to point out the cruelty non-vegans do, so that it can eventually be stopped. Just like the job of the people who point out racist behavior is to, um, if there are not self-obsessed narcissists, by the way, uh, to um, stop racism over time. Just like the, when um, feminists point out sexist behavior by white cis or black cis males, they do it not because of you are a little special snowflake who is not uh, maybe a sexist intentional or it all it is because to stop the sexist misogynist rapists of this world and one time maybe in the future to hold them actually accountable for their abomination or acts. If you are not a victim, uh, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, let them stupid and dirty. Um, say that their life doesn't matter at all. Vegans speak up for the victims. You, if you are not vegan, be not a victim. But I dwell a little bit off in this. Let us go back to the begin of the video about how to be happy. Happiness starts in yourself. Nobody else can make you happy. Money cannot make you happy. Happiness comes from, from the absence of desire for more. When um, accepting where you are being, not running after the new paychecks, not being a slave of money, don't be a slave of the capitalist system, and don't be a slave to your society standards. Happiness comes from free. From the desire to be yourself. At least. If you are not a psychopath. Then I hope you will be very sad. Always. Because if you are a psychopath. You want to hurt others. Then you don't care. About the suffering. You inflict to others. Animals or non-animals. Or uh, sub human or hominids, so I like how to call you. 
you if you are a psychopath don't care about anything but yourself psychopaths are a bit of an extreme malignant narcissist level 100 self-obsessed in love with their own perfect image of themselves pathological liars grandiose grandiosity but now think about it what i've said and maybe check also my video out about wealth because wealth doesn't make happy so if i said in that video and explained i think it is a pretty good video even if I saved myself. So, when darkness and light become one, the reality split away and the truth become visible. Forget not. The absence of desire and the acceptance of where you are without longing to get more and more and more is what can lead you to the true path of happiness and to a certain degree desire can inspire you to get more uh, in life get more success but let not be the desire to get more fame, more money, being your pure and only flame, catalyst. Fire. Which drives you and consume you in the end.